What is poppin' everybody on YouTube? I am your boy Wes, and welcome to Kicks from Wes. If this is your first time watching, consider hitting the subscribe button. And if you do, go ahead and ring the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post videos and when I go live right here on YouTube. If you like the content that I'm putting out and you want to support the channel some more, by all means, smash the like button. I definitely would appreciate it, and it does help out in the YouTube algorithm. Welcome back to another video, and today we have in hand... Dun, 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 dun. The Nike Cosmic Unity in the Space Hippie colorway. That's right. These shoes right here released this previous Saturday, March the 3rd. March the 3rd, really? <laughs> April the 3rd, excuse me on that. And they retail for $150. I went ahead and grabbed my true to size because I was curious about this shoe. Another shoe that I wanted to check out, see what it's like on foot. Now, these are a basketball shoe, and we will go over all the details, you know, everything behind the shoe right here in today's video. So, sit back, relax, go grab a snack, and let the episode begin. Guys, so first thing first, with the front of the box, check out your labeling right there. Size 10 and a half, my size, and like I stated before, suggested retail price was $150. That is exactly what I paid off the Nike sneakers app when these released. Um, it wasn't no hassle. And if you want a pair of these shoes right here, you can easily go on Nike. There is a ton in stock. Don't even have to worry about, you know, your size being sold out as of right now until people start buying them and seeing how they like them. Some might, some might not like them, you know? And then you probably catch them in the outlet. I did see, which is a little up upsetting, in my behalf, uh, that after I brought these on Saturday, I think it was Sunday or Monday, that they actually was below retail. So that was like a little kick in the face. You know, I should have just waited before pulling the trigger. But I figured because of the colorway, um, a lot of people was going to stir to these and they would have sold out. But I was wrong. And it is what it is, man. Still, all in all, I'm happy that I brought these. And let's start with the side of the box right there. It says move to zero as you can see. And let me just turn this around to read this to you guys like that there. It says this product is made with less 20% recycled content by weight which reduces waste and our carbon footprint. So definitely like in the box man and give you uh, some info in regards to the shoe. And then on the top of the box here is more of explaining behind everything behind the shoe move to zero is nike's journey towards zero carbon and zero waste to help protect the future of sports one thing i definitely like is the nike logo with the globe right there that is very dope they got the qr code on the back of the box you know as well as on the front of the label and yeah just trying to see oh here's some features on the back it just gives you in different languages exactly what was said on the front of the box the this product is made with less than 20 percent recycled content by weight so it's in english and every other language that you can pick out right there for you man now without further ado let's get a look at these shoes i don't know already took these out of the box so i know what they look like bang bang the Nike Cosmic Unity Space Hippie, man. These joints right here, in my opinion, is fly. But the good question is for me, should you go true to size or should I have went with a size bigger than 10 and a half? Excuse me, than 10 and a half. We about to find out. Got a quality control stamp right there underneath the lid. Little red stamp right there. And yeah, that's it for the box, man. Let me show you exactly. Oh, it fell. One second. So this is how Nike shipped them to me. Little box like this, nothing on it. I like this, man. I like this a lot. Oh, I'm sorry. They do got something on the back of it right there. Right there. Simple, subtle. And it says we are offsetting 100% of our carbon emissions for this shipping right here continue to offset and continue to send discrete boxes like this you know what i mean appreciate that all right 
Here go the shoe, man. Check him out. What y'all thinking so far? If you grabbed a pair, please leave a comment. And let me know how you feel about this shoe. Is this your first pair, your second pair? Um, you know what I mean? This is a basketball shoe. These are made for basketball. Will I be testing these out on the court? Uh, probably not. But if I have these on my feet one day and I'm taking my children to the park, sure, I'm going to see what they like on the court. And then I will give you guys some feedback at a later date if that happens. But for right now, we got the, this, ooh, I'm, li I'm liking this Nike check, man. This joint got that little futuristic feel to it. And look, you know, got like uh, what they show on the Weather Channel when they doing a little graph or whatever, like the different uh, various of uh, severity of weather. So like light, heavy, immediate, you know, stuff like that there. So that's definitely dope with the Nike check. Loving the hints of orange in there, man. It's definitely dope. Love the cross pattern on the front of the toe box. Once again, you can see they got that Nike uh, logo with the globe. Oh, that's not even a logo. That's more of a, like a, a sound icon, I want to say. But definitely dope. On the front of the toe box right there, it says 01, as you can see. And then same thing on the side, right there. So it's a lot, Cosmic 01, that's what that means. A lot going on with this shoe right here, man. Even got the nice little webbing on the side of the midsole. They got a air bubble unit right there, which is dope, featuring all the colorways of this shoe right here. And this colorway... Yeah, I can't even front, man. This joint remind you of the Nike Mag. And I believe this is the one colorway that everybody is going to go after. Even though they are still sitting on Nike.com right now. Eventually, these will sell out. That's how I feel about them. So, yes, sir. Loving this whole white strip going alongside the eye lace, man. That is very dope right there. So you got that 01 on that side, and on this side, you got a nice Nike check. As you can see, we got some rope laces. As far as the tongue is concerned, they done went ahead and put that, that Nike Global on the tongue. Right there. Definitely dope, man. Definitely dope. The laces themselves are dope, man. They got the gray, uh, blue, red, yellow, green. So, you know, another standout feature on this shoe. For your back pull tab, this says Nike. says Nike and it's going all the way through. I'm assuming it goes all the way down. But that does says Nike right there. Got this big old orbit hole. <laughs> I know when I showed my wife these, uh, the first colorway that dropped was the mint, mint green or whatever. She didn't like them. She was like, nah, I ain't feeling those, babe. Why would you want to buy them? I was like, because it's different. Like, you know what I mean? First, the shoe is made out of recycled uh material and then i ain't never seen no shoe like this before um so that's what drew me to them should you say yes that's what drew me to them wanted me to i wanted to know what they was like and i was waiting for this colorway to come out because this is the colorway that i seen first i believe on some blog or whatever i wanted to say sneaker watch but that could be false but Wherever I seen this colorway at first, this is what got me into them, man. And when I seen this one, I said, yo, those are fresh. Those are fly. Let me grab them and see what they're about when they come out. I think these was been supposed to be released, and they pushed it back, and they dropped two colorways before this one right here. But back into the details of this shoe, man. Right there on the side of the double, well, uh, on the end of the Nike check, as you can see. The camera will focus. Come on. It says... 
Nike, Nike's Earth Mission. Right there on the side. So that's definitely dope. And then as far as your ankle collar is concerned, they got these cosmic waves on the side of it right there. Give you some more dope features within that. And on this side, same thing. I like how the overlay is done. So you got the gray on top and then the orange and the blue as the underlay with the orange stitching. As you can see, these is dope, man. These is dope. As far as your outer sole is concerned, blue outer sole, Nike stamp, air sole unit right there. And what else does it say? Oh, it says uh, 2021. Those little two holes right there, 2021. Now, let me go ahead and unlace these. Loosen them up a little bit because factory lace is always tight for some reason. They don't, I mean, I, I get why they do that. It's for, you know what I mean? They want you to unlace them and do them. They ain't got time to be trying to style them for you. You do all that when you get them in your hand. Standard tissue paper in the inside of the shoe. Let's see if I can pull out this, uh, and so, oh, ah, there we go. That that sucker was glued down. Look how much glue, <laughs> how much glue is on my insole. And this is, uh, uh, I don't want to say standard. It looks standard, but it looks more a, a little thicker than your regular size insole. Anyway, here is the insole right there. And... This has that full zoom unit inside the shoe. I'm about to show you guys right now. Hold on, let me uh, take a few of these laces out real quick. Like so. Alright, so inside the shoe has the full zoom unit from heel to toe. It's going all the way throughout the shoe inside of it, man. So. Another place you see this zoom unit uh, is in some of the Air Jordan 1s. Alright, now, once I get this insole in here, I'm going to slap these on my foot and see how they feel. And then tell you guys exactly whether or not you should go a half size up or true to size will be fine. All right, so just get a little bit more under the laces. All right, there we go. Got that, that bad boy loose. Put these on. All right, so these things is on my feet. And they look crazy on you know, feet. I ain't going to lie. The, the craziest part, and you guys will see on the on foot portion of the video, is the back portion of the shoe. But in regards to should you go true to size or a half size up, for me, I'm going to say true to size is fine. That's how I feel. You know, you might feel differently. You might feel like, yo, these is kind of too snug, and I might need to go a half size up. So if you can find these in the store or catch them at the outlet, then try your true to size in a half size up and see how you feel and go from there. But for me, I'm good, man. I like how these feel in a size 10 and a half. You know, I don't feel like I need an 11. And that's going to be that. So, I thank you guys for watching. Please leave a comment down in the comment section. If you picked up a pair of these, what's your thoughts and your feelings behind this shoe right here. And i catch you guys on the next video. Everybody, stay fresh, stay blessed. The On Foot is up next. And I'm out. Peace.